This is the second video in the Letting Agency database. In the previous video, we did a design based on the task scenario and the sample data provided. Let's have a look at what we've got to do. We need to study the data provided in figure one. We've done that already. We looked at the data when we were designing the database. We need to create an efficient database structure that minimizes data duplication, accepts the data provided, uses recognized naming conventions, and ensures data integrity. We need to ensure that we use all and only the fields shown in figure one. So let's just go through and see what this means. Minimised data duplication means we've got normalised data. That means in a relational database, we're storing data in just one place only, with the exception of foreign keys, and those are copies of primary keys, and they're there to make the relationships between the tables. Accept the data provided, we need to be careful with the data types that we use and make sure they're appropriate for the sample data provided. Use recognised naming conventions uh, means we use the TBL prefix for naming the tables and that we also have a standard format for the field names as well. And then finally ensures data integrity. We need to make sure that we've got referential integrity between the tables. And that means, of course, for example, we can't create a rental for a tenant that doesn't exist or we can't create a rental for a property that doesn't exist in the database. Before we start an access, it's a good idea to go along these column headings, which are going to become fields, and identify the data types. So let's just go through rental ID can be auto number, property ID, auto number, rental start date, date and time, we'll do that short date. Property house number, short text three, although it says number, if you look down, we've got an A in one of the property house numbers, so it can't be just a number, it's got to be short text. Property postcode, short text. Number of bedrooms, that can be a number, it's just a number. Property type is going to be short text, 25. Monthly rent, that's money, so that's going to be currency. Tenant ID, it's short text, it's a mixture of numbers and characters. Rental end date, date time, short date. Property type ID can be auto number and the tenant surname is going to be short text, size 10. And again, just before we start in access, we need to create these tables in a specific order. And the order is going to be the tables with no foreign keys are going to be first. So we do property type and tenant, then the table with one foreign key, property. And then finally, the table with two foreign keys, so that's rental. So that's the order we need to create them in our database. So I've opened up an access database. We're ready to start creating our first table, which is going to be the property type. So we click on design view and we'll call this TBL property type. And the first field is the property type ID. And we said that will be auto number. And the second field is property type, and that's going to be short text, and the size was 25. Save the table and close it down. The next table to create is the tenant table, and we'll call this one TBL tenant. And the key for this was the tenant ID, which is short text 3. Then we have the tenant surname, and that is a short text 10. Save the table. The next table is property. And the key is the property ID, which we said will be auto number. We've then got the foreign key, the property type ID. Now, property type ID is auto number in its own table as a primary key. It can't be auto number, again, as a foreign key. It's got to match in terms of type and size. So auto number is a long integer. So this is going to be a number and long integer. Then we've got the house number. And we said that will be short text, size three. Then we've got the number of bedrooms. 
we said this could be number. And then the next field is postcode that we said could be short text and seven. Come back to this property type ID field here because this is a foreign key. And we said the data type was number, but we're going to set up the relationship here with the property type table. So if we click on the down arrow and select lookup wizard, I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query. And we want TBL property type. And we just want the property type ID as selected field. No sorting. And it shows us there we're going to have a drop down. Nothing in it at the minute because we've not put any data in. And then always enable data integrity and cascade delete and finish. It will always ask if you to save the table and say yes. So that completes TBL property. Make sure you save and say yes to save in it and close. We can finally now create the rental table. It's the last table to create because it's got the two foreign keys in. Rental ID is the primary key and we said that could be auto number. And we've got property ID. Now property ID again in its home table is auto number. It can't be that again, so it's got to be number. The tenant ID is short text in its home number, so it's got to be short text here and it's got to match in terms of size, so it's got to be three. Then we've got the rental start date and that will be date and time. And I'll just format that here to short date. And we've got the rental end date, again date and time, short date. And then final field is monthly rent. And the monthly rent field is going to be currency. Just now I've got to set up the foreign keys, so property ID and tenant ID. Let's do the property one first. Look up wizard. We want the lookup field to get the values from another table. We want TBL property. We want the property ID. No sorting. Next. Enable data integrity. Cascade, delete and finish. So the tenant ID. I'll ask you to save a number of times. Save and close. Now we're going to go into database tools and relationships and just check our tables are correct and the relationships are correct and we've got the correct fields in each table. So a property type has a one-to-many relationship with TBL property and the relationship is using the property type ID. Tenant has got one to many relationship with rental using tenant ID as the primary key and tenant ID as the foreign key in rental. And then we've got a one to many relationship between property and rental using the property ID and the property ID in TBL rental to create the relationship. So we've created our table structures now. I just went back and made one or two corrections. I got one or two spelling mistakes in my field names. That's fine now. We can move on to the next thing, which is to create the validation. So that will be in the next video.